in this video lecture we will study exercise 1.6 now this exercise 1.6 is based on laws of exponent for real numbers now the first question over here is find the value of 64 raised to the power 1 upon 2 now to obtain or to simplify 64 raised to the power 1 upon 2 anyhow we need to remove this 2 ये 2 यहां से हट जाना चाहिए ठीक है and for rem uh, removing this 2 what he will do first we will obtain prime factors of 64 so 232 is a 216 is a 28 is a 24 is a 22 is a and 2 1 is a so prime factors of 64 are how many 2 is repeating itself 6 times so over here I'm writing solution 64 will be written as 2 raised to the power 6 and outside it is outside there is 1 upon 2 so I've written 1 upon 2 over here now 2 1s are 2 3s are this is equal to 2 power 3 and 2 power 3 is equal to what 8 so on simplifying 64 raised to the power 1 upon 2 what we have got 8 now the second one is 32 raised to the power 1 upon 5 again to find the value of 32 raised to the power 1 upon 5 we need to eliminate this 5 we need to eliminate this 5 and for that again we will write prime factors of 32 now see this is 32 now prime factors of 32 are 1 2 3 4 5 2 power 5 so 32 can be written as 2 power 5 into 1 upon 5 5 and 5 will get cancelled and 2 power 1 is what 2 again 125 now the prime factors of 125 are 5 5 is a 25 25 5 is a 125 whole power 1 upon 3 this is equal to 5 power 3 and outside the power is 1 upon 3 3 from numerator and denominator will get cancelled 5 power 1 this will give you how much 5 now question number 2 find the value of 9 raised to the power 3 upon 2 now to calculate 9 raised to the power 3 upon 2 we need to remove this 2 we need to remove this 2 and for that what we'll do over here we will write prime factors of 9 so prime factors of 9 are 3 into 3 whole power 3 upon 2 now 3 into 3 this is what bases are same so power will add so 1 plus 1 is what 2 so 3 power 2 and outside it is given 3 upon 2 now 2 from numerator and 2 from 2 from numerator and 2 from denominator will get cancelled this will give us 3 raised to the power 3 and 3 raised to the power 3 is how much 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 now the second one 32 raised to the power 2 upon 5 again to find the value of 32 raised to the power 2 upon 5 we need to eliminate this 5 and for that what we can do we will write the prime factors of 32 which is what 2 raised to the power 5 32 can be written as 2 raised to the power 5 and outside it is 2 upon 5 5 5 will get cancelled 2 power 2 then that is equal to what 4 in the same manner the third one again we need to eliminate this 4 and for that 16 can be the prime factors of 16 are 2 into 2 into 2 so 2 is repeating itself 4 times in 16 so 2 power 4 and outside it is 3 upon 4 cancel out 4 and 4 2 power 3 and this is equal to what 8 now the last one and for the last one first I'll rub this now 125 raised to the power minus 1 upon 3 so 125 will be written as 5 into 5 into 5 raised to the power minus 1 upon 3 now 5 is repeating itself 3 times so we are writing 5 raised to the power 3 into 
outside what is the power minus 1 upon 3 3 3 will get cancelled this will give you 5 raised to the power minus 1 or you can write 1 upon 5 correct please note it down now question number 3 of exercise 1.6 is simplify now the first question in this simplify is 2 raised to the power 2 upon 3 into 2 raised to the power 1 upon 5 now we have to simplify this now by laws of exponent for real numbers we know very well that when bases are same then power will add so because over here 2 is the base which is same so we'll add the power so this will give us 2 raised to the power 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 5 now solve it further by taking out lcm of the parts so 3 and 5 the lcm will be how much 15 correct now 2 into 3 5 za then positive sign 1 into 5 3 za this is equal to 2 raised now 2 5 za 10 10 plus 3 is how much 13 so 13 upon 50 so the answer will be 2 raised to the power 13 upon 50 now second question in the second question in numerator it is 1 raised to the power 7 as well as in the denominator it is 3 raised to the power 3 into 7 now you know very well that 1 raised to the power 7 that will remain as it is 1 multiplying any number of times the result will always be what 1 now this 7 power will also get multiplied with this 3 power 3 now 1 power 7 is 1 and this is 3 raised to the power 21 now what you can do is take this 3 power 21 in the numerator so your answer will be 3 raised to the power minus 21 now the third one in third one it is 11 raised to the power 1 upon 2 11 raised to the power 1 upon 4 now you can see in the numerator and in the denominator bases are same bases are same so what we'll do over here is i'm writing 11 raised to the power 1 upon 2 as it is now this 11 raised to the power 1 upon 4 will move upwards in the numerator and its power will become negative. Now what you can see over here is that bases are same. Now if bases are same then power will add. So this will give us 11 raised to the power 1 upon 2 plus minus 1 upon 4. This will give you 11 raised to the power 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 4 and this is equal to 11 now 4 will be LCM over here so 2 2 is a 2 minus 1 so the answer will be 11 raised to the power 1 upon 4 okay answer will be 11 raised to the power 1 upon 4 now the last one 7 raised to the power 1 upon 2 into 8 raised to the power 1 upon 2 now over here parts are same exponents are same but bases are different exponents are same but bases are different so over here what we can do we can multiply the bases like this 7 into 8 raised to the power 1 upon 2 because 1 upon 2 is power which is common in both 7 and 8 so what we have done we have just multiplied 7 and 8 and the power is what 1 upon 2 now 7 8 is a 56 so the answer will be 56 raised to the power 1 upon 2 so this is the complete explanation of exercise 1.6 which was based on laws of exponent for real numbers thank you